green flag stops, it'll make it where it's a one-stop race. Trouble, Casey Mears. And you know what? I'm not so sure this is the product he, I think he was trying to get the pit road because he was one of the cars that needed the pit. got by Jimmy coming in. And it sounds like he may have gotten turned by his teammate. Let's see, he's and right, uh, here he is. Right, right in the up. front of the pack. But you know, Larry, yeah, I mean, he's he's up a little high. Uh, man, that's a hard, that's a hard one lick. Hit. But he was up a little bit too high there trying to get, uh, you know, he should have been a little lower maybe, I don't know. Let's watch from Jimmy Johnson's on board. See, right here he moves, coming through the corner, coming through the corner, he moves out a little bit. My question would be, did he give a good solid hand signal, especially going out in the back straight, straight away to let those guys know, hey, I'm going to pit road. We were watching the 25 replay, the end card from Jimmy Johnson. We saw no indication that Casey Mears ever gave a hand signal that he was expected, that he was coming to pit road. But Darrell, there's a reason for that, and Chris Devote is in Casey's pit. Well, guys, actually, the 25, they were planning on coming in there. They were planning on pitting, and the impression they had was that it was going to be a Hendrick Express coming to pit road, that the 24 and 48 were also going to come in. So somewhere, definitely some miscommunication, but that was what was going on in the 25. Matt? Talking to Chad Canals, Jimmy Johnson's crew chief, he said they had not planned on pitting at that juncture, and Jimmy did not see any hand signals from his teammate, so it was a miscommunication definitely somewhere, and this is the worst situation, obviously, for a multi-car team. No, I thought we were all in pretty good communication that we were all going to come in that time. That's what I was told, anyway, that we were all going to come in that lap, and, and uh, I was waving off down the back stretch, and I thought it was very clear that, that I was coming in, but... Um, I mean, I know Jimmy wouldn't mean to do something like that. I mean, we're best friends, you know, but uh, the bad part about it is we're 35th going into this race, and that looks like we're probably going to have to be qualifying in the show like the rest of these guys going into Richmond. And uh, I just can't believe it went down like that, you know. Uh, it's too bad for the National Guard, too, and GMAC. We had, we had such a good race car. I mean, we're just riding just uh, a lot of really good teamwork actually leading up to that point. And uh, I just feel better for bad for everybody at Hendrick Motorsports. There's a lot of guys that put a lot of time and effort in this car, and, and uh, we had a real good race car today. We just, uh, I don't even know why we're here. I really don't have much, much else to say.